Here is the man you've been waiting for. Active Fireball! Hello everyone, my wonderful watchers. How are you all doing today now that it says I have zero viewers? That's fine. I'll just keep playing and grinding anyway because I love you all. How are you all doing today? Today is Wednesday, which means nothing. Nothing's happening today besides me streaming. That's it. That's the only reason why you're here, why you got up this morning was to watch me stream. That's it. So what happened yesterday? Um, what happened yesterday was we got to Vidna after training a lot. No, sorry, we got to freaking bottom of Octum as much as we could, and there was like, yo, Karo was there, and Karo was like, hey, I found this jewel. It's called the Jewel We're Looking For, and Gal was like, where the fuck is it? And Karo's like, oh yeah, I gave it to something, Jeremy. Which is right here, and as you guys know, Jeremy is that little city with that berserker boss person thing. He's a dick. So after trying to fight the boss of Jeremy again for the third time, I failed horribly. So I went the north to Vidna, bought items as much as I could, because they're expensive. I'm like, you know what, we need to grind. So I kept going this way, this way, this way, all the way over here. Went to Shadowgate. Uh, I also didn't go to here. I um, went to the Shadowgate. Oh, hey, I think that's the mist generator. I um, went to the Shadowgate. Um, found some of the enemy, uh, one of the side villains, I guess. They're a band of three people. I forgot their names already because I don't remember their names. Um, didn't fight them. I'm very happy. And now I guess we're just going to go back to Vidna. Because we have what? How many items? The gold. We have 3,600 gold. That should be enough to fully equip ourselves. Once we go back to Vidna, we're going to walk back to Jeremy to try to once again fight this boss and see how see if we can fight this boss or not. While my lips are dry. Sexy. Uh Um I think you're just out of four 41. Can I do a 5 combo with 41? Uh, you're just gonna use theater because I'm lazy. <sighs> Don't paralyze him, please. He didn't attack yet. Thank you. You're such a nice enemy. Oh, oopsies. Alright, that's cool. <sighs> it was not a good night. Did not sleep well. However, StarCraft is going quite well, guys, if you're interested in my StarCraft 2 campaign. Um. What was it? <clears throat> so, playing StarCraft 2, uh, did three battles yesterday, won one of them. But I'm very happy that I can get at least one win per day now. For the past three days, it's been like that. That's pretty cool. Um, the, my last battle, I lost to Proxy Pylon. Um, I feel like Proxy Pylons aren't going to go away anytime. So I should probably start defending against them. Uh, I've been reading up on units. I've been reading up on a lot of Protoss units. Um... I did actually read up a lot on Zerg units, but I read up on Zerg units because I got murdered by some Zergs. Excuse me. I got murdered by some Zergs. Um. So, I actually kept. What I did was I kept. Throwing enemies at them and throwing more enemies in different composition of enemies. I actually should have gone for a fourth or fifth building. Nexus to get more economy. But anyway, um, I saw in the final push I had that I think I actually would have won maybe if I didn't stop the game. 
Um, he had Motilisks, Hydralisks, Zerglings. Uh, and what else? Hydralisks, Motilisks, Corruptors, and Zerglings. Yeah, Corruptors. Fuck those things. So I actually, like, took a good number of notes on, like, here are all the units. Here's what they're for. Here's what they do. Here's what you should use to defend against them. I really need to go to the eye doctor again. These glasses are getting annoying. So yeah, that was fun. Um, I have to just keep going, right? Yep, take a left. Just, 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 just grinding. Just grinding, just chatting. I actually wanted to change this to just chatting, but just chatting is not a tag. It's a category. And then use theater. Because you're cool like that. I mean, I guess, yeah, we can level up theater as well. You can also level up Ginyor, Sinyor, whatever the fuck his name is. I did not sleep light sushi last night, and I ate it too late. And I ate too much. I mean, it's like sleep. It's the worst. How are you all doing today, huh? Target intelligence down 5%. Hey, I got two of them. That's good. Fortunately, everyone attacked, so I'll just have to attack them again, which is fine. Just do that. What are you doing? Noah, fucking A attack. There we go. I feel great when it's gone, I can finally get four attacks off. That'd be nice. <sighs> You're welcome. Man, I like Legend of Dragoon. I really never had to grind in that game. That was awesome. I mean, if I still can't face the Berserker, if I still can't survive the Berserker after this, my next idea is to go into be traveling to Octum and trying to get that orb magic. Up, down, left. Do that. All right, what happens? No, that's okay. I'll still live. <sighs> Head splitter. If I had Ozma, you'd be dead too. All right, uh, Van, too bad. Noah, down. We have no, we have only one thing that starts with down. Okay, down, up, up, left, left. No, down, up, up, left, left, right. There. We go. Damn it! Down, up, up, left, right. There we go. Uh. Let's do the gold team, why not? Damn it! Can't get new arts in this game. That's fine. And he's going to attack. Oh, Gala's attacking before he's attacking. Oh, this is a new thing. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. Gala attacked before some enemies. We're making some progress. Gala starting to become fast, guys. Our tank is starting to speed up. Except that damn stone circle attack. Fuck that attack, man. Here we are. Let's buy items. Let's not go to the inn. Because the inn is like, yo, 
It's gonna cost you 200 dollars, 200 gold to stay the night here. I wonder if it's cheaper to just like warp back to Rim Elm, warp back and buy some Door of Winds. That actually might be cheaper. How expensive are Doors of Winds? Bye. Give Gala the red bum. All right, that sucks. Okay, uh, speed elixir and a survival club. Are you are you fucking serious? Are you serious? I literally cannot buy anything else. Why are these items so damn expensive? Oh my god. Okay, well. I got all the weapons. Well, now I need the Master Boots, which are 3,200? Oh my god, okay. How much money do I have left over? 623, okay, so I can at least spend the night and heal. This is bullshit. Bullshit how much it's costing me. I've already grinded for like two episodes already. What else do you want? Game? I can grind more. Will that make you happy if I grind more? So I have to try and do. Are you trying to get me tired by grinding? <clears throat> I think you are, little bastard. Alright. Well, let's head to Jeremy. See what happens. Yay. Alright, to Jeremy. Wrong button. I can run almost 10 hours on this game. Jesus Christ. I guess I could warp there with the door of light, huh? Door of wind? If I wanted to. I don't know. Like, I like the idea where it's like. You can use this to warp to anywhere where you've been, which I think is cool. Um, but at the same time, it's like, man, I would love an air, like a, some kind of aircraft to traverse the world, because that's always fun. But it has to be in real time, like the one in Legend of Jigu, where you're able to traverse the world, I mean, that's cool and all, but you can only go to only cities. Which makes sense, there's no use traversing the world anyway. Especially if you have to keep changing discs. Alright. I guess. Um. Up. Right. Okay. Up. Up. Right. There we go. We'll see what happens. I doubt anything will happen. No, nothing happened. That's okay. That's cool. Uh, ooh, oh, yeah. You dead? You dead? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, there's nothing to talk about. Oh, I also haven't any coffee yet in my system, so there's that as well that I have to worry about that there's no coffee in the system yet. Coffee in the system won't happen until 8.35, guys, so be prepared for that. This stream starts jumping at 8.35 in the morning. Bitches better believe it. Uh, Death Wings. I don't like that name. Yeah, I know a low attack's not gonna hit it. That's fine. Nope, that's okay. Still trying to find a Kabuki. Death Kabuki. Oh my god, so close <clears throat> Just like, oh man, just today, because I did not sleep well. I'm just fine. I mean, I already know my lesson. My lesson is stop eating so damn much before I go to bed. One, two, nope. One, two. Right, left. Uh, 
right, yeah, right, left, right, right. I mean, if we can find rules for all of our combos, all of everyone's combos, that would help us much. Like, the only rules I know is that an art does not start on the Rosaru, and the art does not end on a Rosaru. That's the only thing I know. Hey, Gala's level increased. I mean, it's not going to be enough for him to use four moves, but that helps, and because I decided to walk and not warp, I got that level up. Hopefully that will help, unless he does this damn stone circle attack and then I die, because fuck that attack, we only need Phoenix. <sighs> Go up here, or get into a battle. That works too. Nido and a spike fish. I'm glad the spike fish doesn't hurt. S spike fish does not hurt me when I attack it. Low, right, low. No. Nope. Low, right, left, left, up. And you're just gonna use a head splitter. No. Come on, man. I need that. I need another. Oh, you're dead. I mean, I'm killing them faster, I think. I think it was like two episodes ago. Oh. Go you. You're starting to realize your potential, Gala. Your potential, Lazzy. As a dude. As a muscular dude, I can't think of the word. As a monk! Yes! As a monk! That's the word I'm trying to think of. I mean, I wonder if there's something in this dungeon where it's like, if you do this thing, the boss will become weaker. That would be nice! Oh well. Basically just attacking him with more damage. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm only gonna save it once. Man, I love I love the save sound with Xeno Gears because it's just so powerful. It's like I've saved. With this, it's like. Yes, we've heard this so many times before, guys. Come on. Alright, let's do this again. Meta. Senor. Uh. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Ozma Theater. Here we go. Okay. You're protected against Rot. You almost died to it. God. Well, at least if I had one good turn off. <clears throat> 391, you really didn't do much more damage in the grinding that I've done. I just have to give like all of my upper and lower defense accessories to Noah. So Nor, 
Terra, Vera on you, Ozma here. All right. Let's see what happens here. I mean, I'm I'm literally serious. Like, if this doesn't work, I will try next time to just keep using Nido. What? You're the only one in the command here, Lisa, not me. You get your nails cut as well. Alright. Everyone's attacking before him, that's great. That's good. Eight, that's two turns of damage. Meta, Zenor, Matera, Vera, Angala. I wonder if he's gonna do a stone tower. I, I can't predict the stone tower. Unless the stone tower is on turn base, this is like on a turn or a turn number, but I don't think that's it. <sighs> hey, that's cool. Seven. Nice. I mean, 389 was also good, so I think. Uh, Noah might die now. Oh, she didn't die. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't have to defend. Again, meta. Vera. On Noah. Noah. Attack. Ozma. Use your theater. Alright, we're getting close. I wish you could predict when he was using Stone Circle. That'd be nice, because Stone Circle is the thing that kills me. Oh, that was not a lot of healing. Well, someone's gonna die here. Probably Noah and Van. That's what I think. Only Noah. That's cool. Alright, how are we going to do this? What are we going to do to try to live as long as we can? What are we going to do? So if he attacks anybody, we're all dead. I know that right now. If he attacks me... Um, eight hundred to Gala. Just use Ozma. I mean, hopefully he'll attack Gala, not me. I mean, I guess I could use Gala to heal Noah. That would've been a good idea too. I forgot about that. Hmm. Well, I might have to do that in the future. Then we'll see. Gala might have to use an item. It's just I really don't want to give her my damage output for turn. Alright. No item. That. I guess, I guess if I'm, if, if you're doing 800, I don't really need to heal 200 to all allies. That was a mistake. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess that's good I have that. 
So Van has Rot now. Is this guy gonna use Stone Circle? No, he's not. He's gonna use Spore Gas. That's cool. Okay. I mean, 147, so Spirit is defend. I just don't know when to defend. Anyway. Well, there goes one damage up of the turn. Item. Meta, Vera on me, Ozma, Theater on you. Oh, Angala, that's fine. Unless he only uses Stone Circle when I have three people alive. Maybe he's like Ruby Weapon, where if one person's dead, he doesn't use it. Who knows? I have no idea. Boom! Alright, you're healed. Uh, you might be able to use Vera one more time, and if you can, I'll be excited. Oh, I started watching Sailor Moon recently. That's really good. Can you stay dead? Jesus. All right. Can you use Vera? You can. Awesome. Use Vera on Gala. Gala use theater. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm watching Sailor Moon, and it's actually going really good. I'm on episode five. I just started it. With the introduction of Sailor Jupiter. We've been introduced to Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury, and of course, Sailor Moon. Um, it's really good so far, I like it. Oh! Damn! Well, I can revive Gala. I mean, I do have... And you wasted your magic. Well, uh, Gala also has 3 out of 157 MP, so that means Gala is out of MP as well. That's not good. So I think I'm correct in my assumption that he doesn't use Stone Circle when I only have two people up. Uh, that, and God, he's out of magic now, and I have no magic rest of items. This isn't good. I should, probably should have healed. All right, cool. Don't attack. Man, that's fine. Because, I mean, they do have the... Oh my god. Just die, please. Just fucking die. Oh my god. How much HP does this motherfucker have? That's fine. That's fine. As long as my freaking arms aren't rotted off. Let me attack and die, please. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. That took forever. I have a fire book now. That's good. Why was this boss so hard? Jesus. Well, I mean, it's dead now, because I was right. Glad I can think. Silent power, right? Oh, sorry, quiet strength. And what does Gala get? Pure joy. Okay. Alright, now we can continue the story. Now that we've been drinking for three episodes. 
glad I had those items. I actually like how they walked backwards this time, so it doesn't look like the tree is engulfing them. So, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> if... <coughs> here's the thing to think about, right? If you make it, once a Genesis tree is made, the effects weaken, right? Because it has a range. Now, I don't think it's an effective range. I really do think it's a, it gets weaker as it goes on. So, does that mean, like, could the effect by being too near to a Genesis tree just be way too much for you? I don't know. Oh, no, it's changed already. Why did they make a maze to that? Like, it's not really a maze. I don't know. Really, though, there that is a lot of OSHA violations right there. Yep, it was us. We killed the monster. Yep. In this world... People understand pantomimes. Alright, so everyone, even though I know I just did this, I'm going to put on a risk. Good morning, Chiroptical! Thank you so much for joining me. I'm actually going to go to the bathroom really quickly because I had some plenty of water so I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> I'm I'm done taking the first. Cause we're gonna save before we do the first sip of the day. I swear to God, we will do the first sip of the day. And these bushes are extremely neon. Why are they so neon? Anyway, let's save. Then we can do the first sip of the day. I know it's a tad bit late, um, but I really had to go to the bathroom. I mean, I drank like almost this whole entire thing. I drink a lot of water. Probably because I ate so much sushi last night. Okay, now that's saving. Guys, you guys know what time it is today. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of people actually use Hydration Bot to remember that and to remind themselves to drink. 
But anyway, uh, it is now eight minutes past the half hour. You guys know what that means. It is time for the first sip of the day. This is when we as viewers all come together to do one physical action so we can feel like a community, which is what I'm building. Um, so grab your coffee, tea, water, juice, beer, kombucha, papaya juice, whiskey, rye, rum, vodka, scotch, gin, bourbon, and everybody, cheers for being loud in the day. And also, since I've added a bit more and more... We're more of a community now, guys, you know? <clears throat> a community around me, because I'm awesome. I know that sounds horrible and vain. Is that vain? And what is the definition of vain? Anyway, guys, how are you all doing today? You know, it is Wednesday. Having or showing an excessively high opinion of one's appearance, abilities, or worth. So I'm a vain motherfucker. Of course, Nightbot, now you do it. Thank you, Nightbot. You're so good, Nightbot. I don't know, what should we talk about today? Oh, you're talking about coding. Um, so I'm a software developer, currently work at Microsoft. Um, I've been developing professionally for about six years. Um, and it's okay, I guess. Like, programming's fun. But a lot of people do get into programming, at least if you're in America. Because in America, programmers are given a butt fuck of money. Um, and I do know a lot of people, I myself included, well, I, I, I went into software development because I want to make it a better 2D Sonic game. But I think I'm still there now just because the money is really good. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people are like, don't chase chase money chase your passion which does make sense like you find out how to make things work but it's like if your passion is art or art history you can probably make money off that you just need to figure out how to make money off it and the world is telling you to find one of these pre-built boxes and go in it it's like, oh, you're art history? Well, I guess you can teach art, I guess, to elementary school students, even if you don't like it. You know, it sucks. <clears throat> but people have found a way to do things. That's one cool thing about America. It's like, if you know what to do, you can, people, people will pay you money for stuff, you know? People will pay you money for stuff. And that's the cool thing about it. <sighs> and so about the old adage, do what you love, not what you, not what you want. It's hard. It's hard because trying to find what you want means you have to do something where you might not get a reliable paycheck, which for some people is a big thing. Um, and it's hard. Like, if you're 18, you know, you're asking, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? You know, you're never, at, you know, and a lot of things are shunned. For example, I always wanted to make money playing video games. And now with Twitch, I have the ability to do that. And I think that's fucking awesome. I will be so great that people will pay me to go to their conventions. You just wait. I promise you. The world's best brother-in-law. Um, almost there. Uh, yeah. Because <clears throat> I like video games, and I always will like video games, so I'm like, why not just keep playing video games, you know? Anyway, uh, but yeah, philosophy about today, I guess? I don't know. Just, uh, do what you love is a good adage. It's good to follow what you love. The hard part is getting, is being able to get paid from doing something that you love. And that requires research and the help of a lot of people. Anyway. It's been about five minutes. Let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> <coughs> now that I have some coffee inside me, is somebody streaming? Oh, that's my phone being like, yo, you can watch your stream from, you can use your mobile dashboard on your phone. I'm like, fuck that shit. My phone is slow as fuck. Dude, my phone is a Galaxy S4 Mini. Do you guys know when the S4 came out? 
long ass time ago. Oh, it sounds so nice now. And somehow there's no more monsters. What's up, bros? Are you the mayor? You are. I almost thought his name was Mayor Von Noah, which actually would be really cool. Mayor, what's your name? My name is Mayor Von Nova. Hi, how are you? Yep. What if I want to? What if I want to? Oh, Vidna had this music too. Mayor Von Nova. I mean, Noah. Mayor Von Noah. Uh, this game um, is that humans had something called on their arm called Seru, S E R U. And that gave humans strength, the ability to fly, like ultra long endurance, that kind of stuff. Basically, an augmented humans. Um, and they were nice. And when Serus weren't attached to humans, they were nice creatures. But one day, this thing called the mist, which actually looks like mist, came along, and anything engulfed in the mist, the Serus, if Serus were in the mist, what would happen is the Serus would go crazy and attack humans. And if the Serus were attached to humans, the humans would also kind of go ballistic. Um, so that's what's going on. However, my three people, Van, Noah, and Gala, found something called a raw Saru. And a raw Saru is basically a Saru but better, and they can ignore the effects of the mist. And so at the beginning of the game, Van got his... Later, Noah got hers, and then Gala got his. And so now we're going around the world reviving Genesis trees, because Genesis trees have the ability to drive away the mist. Now, uh, mist is generated by mist generators. That's something you might have seen about four or five episodes ago. <clears throat> um... However, a mist generator, as you saw, is powered by a Rosaru egg, which is quite interesting. So we're on our way to revive Genesis trees. Now, where we are right now in the story is we need to find this guy named Hari. He told us in our dreams to go underneath Octum. In order to sorry, to, in, to get under the Temple of Rem. In order to get under the Temple of in the Temple of Rem, we have to go to the Shadow Gate, but the Shadow Gate will not open unless we have this pearl. And the pearl is held by a jeweler in Jeremy, which is where we are now, and we just revived the Genesis tree. So you missed quite a lot. However, the past three episodes was me just grinding to try to beat this boss. So you did awesome and didn't miss much, much. So that's the story. It's a great game. It's a fun game. It's like one disc long. Um, but the battle system is great, though. Although, this is not a very popular game. Like, uh, at the end of my Legend of Jagoon streams, I had an average of, like, four views per stream, which was great. And then I switched to Legend of Legaia, and now I have, like, an average of between, like, 1 to 1.5 views per stream. What's <sighs> up, Mayor? Von Noah? hungry now. I don't know. Alright. Saved. We revived. What how, What do you see with viewership? How is viewership affected by what you're programming? Because I've actually noticed for that programming guy, I get a lot of views. Well, it depends. <clears throat> sometimes I get a lot of views, sometimes I don't. 
Oh my god. Actually, here's an interesting thing. When I was helping my friend learn Python, I actually, two out of the three streams, got plenty of views. But yeah, Python's meh. I, I just, now that I'm writing some Python, I don't like the white space of Python. I want some, at least some brackets. Make my life easier. Don't let me fucking guess. Power water. I could have sold that. Then why are you doing Python if you want types? <sighs> yes. Th that, I, I'm doing shit. You're frustrated. How? C++ is so wonderful. How are you get what what how are you getting frustrated with C++? <laughs> I see. I mean, the only thing I can see frustrated with C++ is uh, memory management. But that's what smart pointers are for. Alright, dude. I need your shit. Oh, right. You want me to deliver a letter, don't you? But yeah, I am curious though. What are you frustrated with C++ about? I'd like to know. Mental models. Interesting. Okay. Like what I could you explain more about that? I mean, I know you're typing. Cuz it is just an object-oriented language or procedural oriented. Unless you're just trained to di I guess if you're if you're doing Haskell then you go to C++. That's diff that's kind of hard. It's like me going from object oriented to Haskell, which is like god fucking damn it. And that is true. If you go from Haskell to C++, you do have to think differently. <sighs> hey, money or stuff. Um, don't get too much, don't get too much on the hierarchy of classes in C++, because you don't want a giant hierarchy. That's going to be horrible. Additionally, make sure you don't do multiple inheritance either. Just stick with pure virtual functions and one inheritance tree. <sighs> These are also expensive. Why is everything so damn expensive in this game? She also used my fire book, too. I know that. Don't apologize. It's a business. That's fine. Uh, items. Use. Fire book, two. Yay, fire blow. Awesome. But that's interesting. Um, no, I would love to hear more. And actually, I'd love to hear more. Like, actually, here's a cool thing, Mr. Chiroptical Sir. If you would like to, I think this would be great, to actually, we could do a dual stream. That would be cool. I can stream and you can stream, and then I can help you with C++ on the stream via Discord. That would be cool. All right, to Vidna to deliver the letter. Because we need that jewel thing. Really? Fine. Dash my hope and hopes and dreams. Uh, da, ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> you have drank the Haskell juice. Oh. Uh. No, it's um. Like, I'm going through all the hope that Numa Demosa has helped me with with Pascal, and I'm like, oh god, this is so much stuff. But I'm glad he's helping me so much.
Yeah, Haska is really cool. The only one problem I've had with Haska that I don't like is there's so much, there's so much mem function chaining. It's so it's a lot to keep track of. It's like function main calls function b calls function c calls function c is like why so much chaining is involved. I hate that. It's so much stuff you have to worry about. All right. Anyway, viewers of Legend of Ligaya, hello. I'm glad you've joined me today. We this is a place where we drink coffee and talk to each other. Also, by the way, everyone, since I don't know when a uh, Nightbot does this, so I'm going to do it now. Nightbot, why aren't you working? Did I do this? Haha, it's M-E-R-C. I think it's M-E-R-C-H that I should do. My bad. <clears throat> All right, to Vidna to deliver the letter so we can go back and get the jewel so we can go under Octim, I think. No, we can go in the Shadow Gate. Yeah. That's what it is. <clears throat> but I mean, maybe you just don't like C++ because you started with Haskell. It's so interesting, isn't it? All right, so where is this family that I need to deliver the lead, the stuff to? Ba -da. Ba -da. I'm so glad I have auto run on. It makes this game so much more faster. Oh, you started with C++. Oh, and then you moved to Haskell. Well, never mind then. Don't listen to me. I was wrong. Are you the lady? No, you're Dan Pass. <clears throat> I see move task. That's fine. That's interesting then. It wasn't that uh interesting. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Where is the lady I'm looking for? What house is she hiding in? Fortran Fortran! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy. All right, C++ to Python to Haskell. Yes, Vidna will never have to worry about the mists as long as the windmills magically keep running. Let's hope they keep running. Because if they stop, that's bad. And as we know, especially from programming, <clears throat> if you go, this specific scenario will never happen. It should never happen. It will eventually happen. Hey, who are you? Yes, I do, because you have the windows. Fine. It's just where the hell are you? Where is this house I am looking for? Okay. Oh my god! Bum. Bum. Do. Da, 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 da. This is the item shop. What if I go up above? Right. There's something in Rim Elm, isn't there? That I should get. This way. I like how the camera moves dynamically to make it easier to look, uh, see where you're going. <clears throat> and by the way, guys, once I start ranked in StarCraft, I actually do plan to stream that as well. My ranked matches. Get some more followers and, uh... Uh... Viewers. That's the one. Was here already. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So, can you just leave now since you delivered the message you were supposed to deliver, lady? I can't really pay attention to where I'm going because I'm talking to everybody. Yes. Oh, hey, house. Aha! Did I find what I'm looking for? 
What's your name, little kid? Are you Pepe? Sure. Sodin's code. Sodin's on. Nope, you're not Pepe. Thus, you are not important. You can die. Ha ha! Wait. Oh, you're Pepe. Noah, calm the fuck down. Fortran, huh? Why do we get to read the letter? Oh, grad school. <sighs> Go Nightbot. So Nightbot does it on the thing, okay. Grad school, huh? So what? I have a question. What? What? Chiroptical? Why did you decide to go to Hasco? What happened? <sighs> oh. I forgot about this part. I see. Because you're the theory guy, and the th degree of theoretical chemistry, which just sounds fucking cool. So I have an interesting book you might like. Hold on. Mr. Kyra Optical, sir. <sighs> ah! All right, there's this book called Smarter, Faster, Better. The Transformer Power of Real Productivity. Um, there is actually a chapter in here about mental models and how mental models can help and how as well mental models, if you apply the correct one, things work. And if you apply the incorrect mental model, things do not work. I mean, the whole entire book itself is really good, um, but that one's pretty nice. I kind of use it for motivation to get shit done. So we did that. Let's save here <coughs> because <coughs> we did a lot so far. Yes, overwrite the save. By the way, by the way. By the way, Corruptical, did you find out how to... Yeah, you did find out how to announce that you're streaming on Discord, didn't you? I think I've gotten those announcements. I might have not. I don't usually follow the conversation on Discord. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, your AP goes up so slow, Gala. Jesus. Oh my god, guys, coffee is really good. Like, coffee hasn't affected me as much as it did yesterday, where I'm like, let coffee into your life. But now I'm more awake. And it's really good. Hurricane! Hurricane! 
That would be really cool if they had voice lines for each move. That would be awesome. You know, I think if this game was remade, what I would want is to actually have just English voice acting. Like, they could keep the same rudimentary graphics. I would be fine. What I would want is I would want them to add English voice acting. That would be cool. So we're now going to go back to Jeremy to tell the dude that his wife died, which is just horrible news to hear. I would hate if I was gone for 10 years and I heard that my wife died three years ago. I would just suck. Why is everyone dead? Why aren't you dead yet? All right. Uh, low arms, arms, high, high. Let's try that. See what happens. Dude, that's an amazing idea, Shoreline Viking. This, but Dragon Ball Z? That would be cool. Thank you for joining me, by the way, Shoreline Viking. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Do I go, which way do I go? This way, okay. That is cool. I like that idea. That's amazing. Oh my god, start making it. Chiroptical, I have a new project for you. Even though you're about theory. Okay, Death Wings. Uh, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna go like that. Nope. That's fine. I think they made his Japanese voice pretty nice. Not too low. Or too high. Mm. Gotta love me some coffee. And he didn't die. That's fine, I guess. Well, we should make sure to kill you then, huh? If you power charge, we will kill you. Uh, la da da da. La la dum bum. Why not? Damn it! I'm trying to find these new arts, it's not working. By the way, I hate proxy pylons. I wish they could not be used, because they just make me feel so salty. It's it feels like a cheap win. It feels like no, we need to play this way. How dare you use proxy pylons? It's like, well, if someone wants to use proxy pylons, they can use proxy pylons, and it is my fault for not defending against proxy pylons. Back to Jeremy. Tell this dude I'm really sorry, but your wife died. Come on. Of course I did. I gave your son the letter. Yuma. Why'd you come to Jeremy in the first place, my good sir? <clears throat> I mean, you could travel with us. You know, we can make sure you don't die. 100 gold, please. <sighs> my wife died. Here's a gift for you for telling me my wife died. Thank you so much. Although, also, I guess he's the messenger, and thanks for being the messenger, so I guess that's good, I guess? I don't know why he would do that. Awesome. Thank you, Kyra Optical. I'll make sure to add you to my... Are you on my Discord? I don't think you are, are you? And 
In fact, can we have it too, please? Because we need it to continue the story. How does Van have a star pearl when Noah was the one who got it? Cool. There we go. On to Octum Place Thingmabobber. Let's see if we can buy some healing items with almost no money. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I guess I can sell some stuff. Sell. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Zala's Crown? What is this? A crown uh, increases AP accrual by 10%. Uh, that's good, but I don't know if I want to... Uh, hmm. Hey, Power Water! Oh, attack plus four ally! No, uh, Gala... <coughs> <coughs> Gala... 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 Boom! Give me more attack. Alright, can I buy anything? Okay, you actually have everything. Uh, can't do that. That would increase Vance attack. That's 3,200. Um, how much money do I have? 3,194. We're gonna sell something. There, okay, bye. Oh, wait, uh... This one. Van. Awesome. Sweet. More equipment for Van. This is what I need. So, warrior boots. Bye. Okay. Where is the... Oh, boy. Oh. I bought shit from you, dude. Um, Venom and toxin. That's good. Curse. I have plenty of this. Ooh, these would be nice. 400. My God. That's expensive. Well, looks like I can't buy any now. I know, you're running business. I get it. Okay, so now we have stuff. Uh, I probably have no money to go to an inn right now. <coughs> so now that we have... Uh, the Star Pearl... We need to make it all the way over here to Shadowgate. Now, I could... I could use the Door of Wind, which is a fantastic idea. However, I will not be using the Door of Wind because I would like to still gain experience as I travel because... This game. This is the only reason because of this game. Alright, so... Van... Oh, I thought I could do five. Okay, um, down, down, up, up, right. Come on, Gala. Come on, Noah. Where are my new arts, damn it? Oh, mm. oh, it's the dragon's coffee. I knew better than to do that, but I was like, let's try it. It didn't work out. <clears throat> That's fine. Oh, it's so bad. Phew. Oh, that was a bad idea. <clears throat> uh. All right, Noah. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> All right. <clears throat> that was bad. Hehe. <clears throat> <laughs> you love what up? Oh, I see. The spike got bigger. That's what it was. The spike got bigger. Just wait. The, by the end of the game, it's a giant parasite on the arm that never goes away. <clears throat> like, imagine. Like, I think the idea of having almost like a constant companion is great. Like, you can talk to someone, they know your thoughts, you know theirs, you know their personality, all that other good stuff, and imagine they're there watching 
every second of every day. They're watching you, making sure you don't do the devil's work. Now, I know all my good faithful followers, you guys don't do the devil's work. I trust you all. All right, does this work? Ah, uh, damn it. I want a new art, Noah. I want you to have your first five art. I want somebody to have a five art. <coughs> or a secret art. That'd be cool, too. Well, that worm's dead. I like how the death animations are all the same for everybody, so even though I attacked from the top, he still rose up and then fell to the side. That was pretty cool. Yay, PS1. Uh, low, low, low. And you're gonna do low, low, up, right. No, no, low, left, up, up. Uh, no, no, left, left, right. Right? Oh, God, I think I've done that before. I don't remember. Damn it! <laughs> Oops! Well, I killed him, which is great. Not what I wanted, though. You're welcome, Noah. Ah, gotta pop that knee. Gotta pop it, pop it, pop it. Cause for some reason, I can't, my knee cannot be bent for an extended period of time. Like I've gone to the opera and those seats are so tiny and I'm really glad my wife gets seats on the aisle so I can extend my left leg into the aisle sometimes cause that helps so much. My right knee is fine though. It's just my left knee for some reason. But don't lock and drop it. I'll make sure to pop and not lock and drop. I don't know if I have the experience and credentials to lock and drop. I can pop, though. <laughs> you heard it's bad for the knees. That's adorable. All right. Come on. Damn it. I want a new art. Whatever. Pop, lock, and drop it, but only pop it because you can't lock and drop because you don't have the experience yet to lock and drop. You know what's also kind of bad for the knees? A hero's landing. <clears throat> Hello, the incinerator! How are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining me and deciding to talk to me because I can only talk to myself for so long. Even that's kind of mean because I was talking to Shoreline Viking. But I mean, he's here every day, so whatever. How are you today? That is cute. What is that emote? Channel Shenpai. That sounds adorable. So I don't know if you've just joined or not, but uh, I'm traveling to Octa, no, the Shadow Gate, so I can talk to Hari. Things with me are fine. Um, trying to find a new five art for Noah. It's not going that well. Um, that's yeah. Final thing. Le Le guy is fine. Um, I just beat. Do just killed the berserker this episode, which took me three episodes to grind for, which is a lot. Uh, I don't know. Things are going fine. Like, I've actually have six viewers, between six and seven viewers now, which is kind of crazy. Because I've never had that with Legend of the Gaia, so I'm very happy right now. Things are going really well, Incinerator. Thank you so much for asking. Also, everyone who is here, I do have a vote for the next game to play. So, um, down below... If you would like to, you can vote on the next game that I'm going to play after this. The choices are Jade Cocoon or Vagrant Story. And, Accenerator, how are you doing today? It's always nice to ask about the other person. Because maybe, maybe no one's ever asked you to before. So I'm trying to be that person who's going to ask. <clears throat> All right, Vera, do your shit. Mm. You, know 
<coughs> Very, you need to heal more. Are you serious? Don't block his attacks, little dick. Doing the chill. Doing the chill. Okay. What 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 does doing the chill mean? You mean you're just like, chilling out, chilling like a villain, gelling like a felon? That's the only thing I know from Fantasy Star Online, gelling like a felon. I don't think any of the other status moves. I went to the wrong place, didn't I? I did. All right, my bad. We gotta keep going. So we can get under Octum once we get the mist away from Octum. And the reason why is there's an elevator that goes beneath Octum, but that elevator doesn't work right now because there's the mist. <clears throat> so we have to go to this place to do other things. I think we have to talk to beat the Minotaur. I think that's the bot next boss we're gonna head to. Um. Oh, hi, low Rasu. Arms, arms. Get some kind of chanting in this hizzy. I'll find one eventually. <clears throat> I still think if I actually applied some logic to this to this combo system, I can know what combos I would need. Oh, Van's not gonna do anything. I'm glad I'm using Ozma to do some theater damage. I also like as well as the Rossers as the Rossers level up, as you guys know, as the Rossers level up, they get bigger and they engulf more of their arms. But I also like as well, the model for their battling also gets bigger as well. Oh, I hit everybody? That's cool. Go me! And I have an antidote. Yay. Even though I have Vera to do that. I haven't... I think I've only had to use an antidote once this game. I'm hungry. Time for more water and coffee. <coughs> Basically. That was a bit too meth ass for that battle. Alright, alright, alright. So, you know what? I'm lazy. I'm gonna use a Zenor. Um, fuck. Arms, Rosaru, up, down, right. Yes, I believe it was square. Hold on. Um, it just says Sony. I don't think it was done by Square. But yes, this is a very fun game. Um... <clears throat> as you can see, this is mostly known for the battle system. Um, as you can see, basically you put in directions to attack with, and you can enter certain directions and they end up in arts. And arts do more damage than if you don't have an art. Um, and it's really cool. What's also really weird in this game is my tank guy, who's the blue guy, who's really strong. He also has the highest magic offense and defense as well, which is crazy. So like as you can see, fire blow, tornado frame, hurricane, spin combo, cross kick. These are all combos. So if I enter up, up, down, down, I will do the combo hurricane. And so... As you level up, you're able to use more inputs. And there are combos for five inputs, six inputs, seven inputs, eight inputs. Um, so Noah is the first one my party can use five. So I'm still trying to find an input for her for I can do a combo with five attacks. And Gal is the slowest, so he only has four. Additionally, I can use spirits, which increases that input gauge. Excuse me, that's hurricane. I don't know if it had fighting game players in mind. It probably did. Um, I don't know. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. 
But yeah, um, the only other time this mechanic is used is in Legaia 2 for the PlayStation 2, which I don't plan to play. Um, but yeah, it is an interesting mechanic. That's why I like this game, because of the mechanic. The story is great too, I'm not gonna lie. I like the story as well. Um, but yeah, it's fun. I don't know. I like it. The only thing is, like, trying to find a combo that you don't know takes a while. I bet I can, like, logically figure it out, but I'm not going to do that on stream. If I ever do it, I'll probably do it off stream, but I have so much other stuff that I'm doing. Like, playing StarCraft, I can't be bothered to figure out parts. God. Phew. Oh, I didn't get the other Killer Bison. Damn it. Oh, you need to heal. I guess I should actually level up Gala's freaking uh, thing as well. Gala, where are you? You need to heal, and just just do that, Gala. You're gonna kill him anyway. You're just a tank. You're a tank and a powerhouse. He has the strongest attack of all the characters. He has the best magic offense and defense of all the characters. And he's slow. That's it. He's just slow. He's so cool. Like, Gala is awesome. Like, in all the previous, like, this is what my, I think my second time, like, I plan to beat the game. Since I beat the game, it'd be like my second time actually beating this game. <clears throat> you didn't die? Alright. Will that work? Oh no, it won't work because there's no combos that start with the Rossaru. Damn it. Waste that. Hey, no increased. Awesome. Levels are good, guys. Always be increasing your level. Even if it's in real life, keep increasing your level. Like, I'm serious. If you want to get better at something, do it every day. Take breaks every so often, but do it every day. That's the idea. Like, I'm not shitting you. Like, I'm getting better at StarCraft, so I play three to four games per day. <clears throat> and actually, when I'm playing three to four games per day, it allows me to think back on it and go, what did I do well? What did I not do well? Like fucking proxy pylons. Fuck that shit. Do I don't even have enough for any more items from Vin Vidna. <coughs> Sorry. But we can now go in here. Finally. With the battle. With some Zenors. Uh you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do that. Uh nope. And Hyper Art. Yeah, let's do that. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I wonder if it could actually work my... I wonder if it actually better not to work my way from left to right, but right to left. So work my way backwards to find combos, not work my way forwards. That's another idea. I could try that. Huh. That'd be interesting. Flying soup. Can you? Did anyone not? Did, well, both didn't even die. How dare they? Do that again. Um. Do that again, and just do that again. Let's waste all of our APs. Why not? And not find a combo for Noah. <clears throat> That's cool. It's not like I was looking for a combo or anything like that, anyway. The only thing I want is, like, that'd be great if the frame rate for these, like, moves could not be so slow. But, I mean, this is a PlayStation game. 
There we go. Thunder Punch. Thunder. 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 <laughs> Poor puppy. She's so tired. She's so old. My dog's fi 15. She'll be 16 next month. She's so old. She's the best, though. Yeah, let's throw it in the small hole. They have really good accuracy, then. <clears throat> That's not really a door, but... Whatever floats your boat, JRPG. Um, is this a dungeon? This is a dungeon. Okay. Why is there mist under the ground? Like, like, why is there mist under the ground? I'm serious. There shouldn't be mist under the ground. I like all JRPGs. Like, all of them. Not all of them, there are some that I don't like, like Enchanted Arms, don't ever fucking play that game. Um... Final Fantasy X, Skies of Arcadia, Grandia 2, um, Xenogears, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, uh, uh, um, I like them all mostly. Crimson Gem Saga? No! Shoreline Viking? How dare you bring that name up in my presence? How dare you? That game, Enchanted Arms is better than Crimson Gem Saga. I'm letting you right now, Enchanted Arms is so much more better than Crimson Gem Saga. So much. Bravely Default, Bravely Second. Um, yeah, I like a lot of JRPGs, like they're really cool. All right, everyone, um, it is 9.30. It is time for this stream to end. I have chores to do and I have a dog to take out. Um, lurkers who are lurking, thank you so very much for lurking. Watchers who are watching, thank you so very much for watching. Bots who are botting, thank you so much for botting. Um, in this episode, we finally beat the Berserker. After three episodes of grinding, we finally beat the bastard. So happy. So now we can continue the story. So next episode, what you guys can expect is we're gonna go through this dungeon, get to the bottom of the Shadow Temple, or wherever the hell we just entered. We're gonna meet Hari, um, and we're gonna actually even go lower, I believe, to defeat a Minot Minot Minotaur, 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 a thing that's punching things. We're gonna defeat a thing that punches things. Anyway, I love you all. Um, is there anybody we can host today? There's nobody we can host. All right, so everyone, I love you all. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Bye.